I've got a promise to make today. And do you know what is that promise? I promise to tell you 12 important sounds, very important sounds that you can use when you speak in English to sound fluent, to sound confident, and most importantly, to sound clear. Now, some of these sounds can be a little bit uh, confusing. So I've tried making these sounds as simple as pos possible for each one of you. Are you guys ready? Let's get started. Guys, my name is Pradhan and I welcome each one of you with a very big heart on my channel. Uh, in today's lesson, we're gonna be talking about 12 very important sounds in English language. Let's get started. <laughs> One sound that we have in the list today is called the I sound. First, we are going to be talking about short vowel sounds. And in that list, we've got the short I sound. What we need to understand in this video is, on your left hand side, you have the short vowel sounds. And on the right hand side, you have got the long vowel sound. First, we are going to be covering the short vowel sounds. The first one is I. The I sound is actually very, very important because a lot of people misunderstand it with E sound. For example, if the people want to say, um, I am going to sleep, E, people say, I'm going to slip, which creates a lot of problem in understanding the word. And that is where the I sound comes in place. For example, we use the I sound in the word bit. I. Bit. Please repeat this, this word after me. Bit. Next word is in. I. In. The next sound in the list is E sound. A lot of you must be wondering that this is E, but that is letter of the alphabet. But the moment I write it in this, two forward slashes, it becomes the pronunciation sound. And it is pronounced as eh. For example, in the word best, we don't say beast, because a lot of you must be wondering, this is E, and so we say beast. But it is not like that. It is called best. Let's do it slowly. There's no rush. T, st, est. Best. Best. So the sound that we focus here is est, e sound in the word best. Please repeat after me. Best. That's right. Next word in the same list is pen. This is e sound. The next word for the same sound is pen. E. Pen. This brings us to the next sound now. This sound is a little bit funny, and I might sound a little bit stupid as well, but it's totally all right. If this particular sound makes me look funny and at the same time helps you get better at your communication skills, it is called the ah sound. What sound is it called? Ah sound. For example, in the word bad, we don't say bed, which is what a lot of people confuse this sound with. We call it ah sound, bad. Let's put it in two forward slashes. Now it becomes a sound. Next word is cat. Please listen carefully and repeat after me. Cat, which is here. The next word that we have is the ah uh sound. How do we pronounce this sound? Please open up your mouth wide and now Say the sound. Now just say a short sound. Ah. One more time. Ah. For example, in the word cup, we don't say cup, we say cup. And we don't say cup as well. Cup, which is again a different sound that we will talk about in the same list. It is cup. The next word is love. We don't say love, we say love. So the sound is 
ah. This is the symbol of the sound, which is meant here, which, which has been written here for your reference. You will find this kind of design in a lot of dictionaries as well. If you right now look for the word cup, you will see that on Google it is written using this symbol. It is one of the most important symbols in the pronunciations of English language, which is only for your reference. And it is pronounced as a, ah, as I said before, in the word cup and love. The next word and the next sound is o oh sound. Now please do not confuse it with o oh, because that comes in long vowel sounds. This is o, oh, just short o. Oh. So please make a pout like position and just say a short sound o oh, in the word dog. We don't say dog, we say dog. Og, dog. The next word is wash. Again, you must have heard a lot of people saying wash, wash the clothes. We do not speak like that. We say oh, wash the cloth, the clothes. Dog, wash. The next and the most important, very important sound is ooh sound. We say ooh. Let's put it in two forward slashes. Now it becomes a sound, ooh, in the word put and good. Not put, good. We say put and good. There is a very interesting video that I've put on uh, uh, YouTube which talks about consonant sounds. And in that video, you will learn better how to pronounce uh, the sound P in English, basically. P is the letter of the alphabet, but this letter has a very interesting sound, which could be very different from the sound that is there in your mother tongue. So the P here changes to P, just an extra tip. So the U sound is put, and in the next word we have good. Not good, not put. It is put and good. Let's look at the last sound in the list of short vowel sounds. The last sound is a uh, sound. It is like this. It feels like as if you're dropping your jaw. So this is your jaw. And now when you say the sound, the jaw drops down. So it is a. Uh. One more time, it is a. Uh. Let's look at the sound in the word. Potato. Where can we... Where are we using this sound? Can you guess? P -t -t -o. I think you've guessed it correctly. It is P sound. The O sound here, the O letter of the alphabet, is pronounced as a uh, here. P -t -t -o. Please repeat after me. We will do the we will play the back chaining game. I will say it from the back, from the from from the back. You have to repeat it after me. O. Please listen carefully and repeat after me. O, to, a tato, a tato, potato. One last time, potato. That's right. Very nice. And the next one is under. Where do we use the a uh sound in the word under? I think you've guessed it correctly. It is the first sound in itself. So we don't say it under, we say under, and it's not under as well, which is what we have also spoken about in one of the videos. It is under. This is all that we have in the list of short vowel sounds. We will use all of these sounds in the end of the video one more time just to get better at pronouncing them. Now let's quickly look at the long vowel sounds. If you see, we have some sounds here. Allow me to put two forward slashes. If you see, we have short sounds here. We have the long versions of these sounds on your right hand side. For example, the i here becomes e on the right hand side. Let's do it one more time. The i here becomes e on the right hand side. For example, in the word c, it's not c, 
It is C. So the interesting thing for us all to note here is the fact that the moment you add this sound to the words here, English becomes funny. And the moment you add these sounds in the words here, English becomes funny. Do you want to play a little game? I'm going to say these words wrongly and you will laugh, actually. For example, K. Where is the key? Whereas it is, where is the key? I don't see you. I don't see you. It is not see. It is see. I don't see you. I don't see you. The next word is ah. Uh. It is called the ah uh sound. Here it is ah. Uh. It becomes long on the right hand side and becomes ah. Uh. For example, in the word car. One more time, please repeat after me. Car. The next one is start. One more time, please. Start, not start. It changes to start. That's right. So I will highlight it here for you. The next sound is aw. It is more like a shame, shame sound. You know, when you, when you do that as a kid, or when parents do it, aw, it is exactly the same sound. So on the left hand side, it is aw, but on the right hand side, it becomes aw. It is the shame, shame sound actually. So the aw here is used in two words, north. Bot, not north, bot. It is north and bot. That's right. The next sound that we have is oo. On the left hand side, it is oo. But on the right hand side, it becomes oo. In the word pool. For a moment, I thought it was written poo. I thought, why did, how could I make that mistake? But it is. Pool, pool. Let's do that one more time. Pool. The next word is, again, rhyming, cool. One more time, cool. Now it is time for us to look at the last sound that we have, and that is the uh sound. This is one sound that I have uh, already covered in one of the important videos on pronunciation in my series. I'd like you to please separately check that because it might as well help you get better at your pronunciation skills in a drastic, in a very, very different manner. For example, let's look at the word, the letter, the sound, uh, on the left hand side. When you say that in a long sound on the right hand side, it changes to uh, in the word girl and curl. Girl is the female baby, baby, the baby female maybe, you know, or we can say, we can say an elder woman as well, girl in, in the early 20s, etc. or late 20s for that matter. And the next word is curl. Curl, the hair curls, right? But the important thing to note here is the sound, which is a uh, girl and curl. This brings us to the end of the short vowel sounds and the long vowel sounds. Let's have a look at all of these sounds one more time. I'm going to say these sounds for one by one. I would like each one of you to please listen carefully and repeat after me. Are you guys ready? Let's do that. Number one, e, bit, in, e, best, Pen, a, bad, cat, a, cup, love, o, dog, wash, u, put, good, a, potato, under, potato, under. E, C, key, R, car, start, O, north, bot, U, pool, cool. And the last one, a, uh, girl, curl. This 
finally brings us to the end of the practice of all of these sounds. If you liked this video, I would really appreciate if you could subscribe to my channel and also put in a comment telling me how was the video and what are the sounds and areas of English you'd like to work on in future. Till then, please take care of yourself, shine bright and may God bless us all. Bye-bye.